രണ്ടാമത്തെ യൂണിറ്റാണ് തുടങ്ങിയത് അതായത് നമ്മുടെ ക്രാഷ് ടോപ്പിക്സിലെ രണ്ടാമത്തെ യൂണിറ്റ് ഒന്നാമത്തെ യൂണിറ്റിലുള്ള ഡൈജഷനും റെസ്പിറേഷനും കഴിഞ്ഞു ഈ രണ്ടാമത്തെ ഇതിൽ രണ്ട് യൂണിറ്റുകൾ വരുന്നുണ്ട് അതായത് പിന്നെ പതിനെട്ടും പത്തൊമ്പതും ഒന്ന് മീൻ ഹാർട്ട് സിസ്റ്റം അതായത് മറ്റേത് എക്സ്ക്രീറ്റ് ഇത് രണ്ടും കൂടി ചേർന്നതാണ് നമ്മുടെ യൂണിറ്റ് സെക്കൻഡ് തോളങ്ങി ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇയറിൻ്റെ ഇതിൽ രണ്ടാമത്തേത് അപ്പോൾ ഹാർട്ട് സിസ്റ്റത്തിന് നിങ്ങൾ സർക്കുലേഷൻ എന്നാണ് തന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് ബ്ലഡ് സർക്കുലേഷൻ അവിടെ ഐ യു ഹാവ് ടു റിമെമ്പർ ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് സർക്കുലേഷൻ സിംഗിൾ സർക്കുലേഷൻ ഉണ്ട് ഡബിൾ ഉണ്ട് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ഉണ്ട് ഇൻകംപ്ലീറ്റ് ഉണ്ട് ഇൻകംപ്ലീറ്റ് ഇതിൽ സിംഗിൾ മീൻസ് ബ്ലഡ് അതിൽ കൂടി ഒരു പ്രാവശ്യമേ ഹാർട്ടിൽ കടന്നു പോകുന്നുള്ളൂ സിംഗിൾ സർക്കുലേഷൻ രണ്ടറകളുള്ള ആ ജീവികളിൽ ഇതുണ്ട് പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് ഫിഷ് ആണ് നമുക്ക് എക്സാമ്പിൾ കൊടുക്കാം ഫിഷ് ഡബിൾ സർക്കുലേഷൻ മീൻസ് ബ്ലഡ് പാസസ് ത്രൂ ദി ഹാർട്ട് ടോയ്സ് എന്നാണ് ബ്ലഡ് പാസസ് ത്രൂ ദി ഹാർട്ട് ടോയ്സ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഹാർട്ടിൽ വരുന്നു പിന്നെ ഇമ്പേറിനെ പ്യൂറിറ്റിക്ക് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് ലങ്സിലോട്ട് കൊണ്ടുപോകണു പിന്നെ അവിടെ നിന്ന് തിരിച്ച് വീണ്ടും ഹാർട്ടിൽ കൊണ്ടുവന്നിട്ട് ഡിസ്പ്ലേ ചെയ്യും അപ്പോൾ അത് മൂന്നറയും നാലറയും ഉള്ളത് നമുക്ക് എടുക്കാം ആംഫീബിയൻസ് റെപ്റ്റൈൽസ് മാമൽസ് ബേർഡ്സ് എല്ലാം തന്നെ ഡബിൾ സർക്കുലേഷൻ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഇനി കംപ്ലീറ്റും ഇൻകംപ്ലീറ്റ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻകംപ്ലീറ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ബ്ലഡ് പ്യൂറും ഇൻപ്യൂറും ഹാർട്ടിൽ വെച്ച് മിക്സ് ആവാൻ പാടില്ല ഹാർട്ടിൽ മിക്സ് ആയാൽ അത് ഇൻകംപ്ലീറ്റും മിക്സ് ആവാതിരുന്നാൽ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ആയിരിക്കും അപ്പോൾ കംപ്ലീറ്റിൽ നമുക്ക് രണ്ട് ഗ്രൂപ്പേ ഉള്ളൂ നാല് അറകളോട് കൂടി ഹൃദയമാണ് ബേർഡ്സും മാമൽസും മാത്രം ഇതിൽ വരുന്നത് ബേർഡ്സ് മാമൽസ് പിന്നെ ഒരു എക്സെപ്ഷൻ കൂടെ ഉണ്ട് ക്രോക്കഡൈൽസ് പിന്നെ അതിന് നാല് അറകളോട് കൂടിയതാണ് ഇത് ഇത്രയും കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ആണ് ബാക്കി ഇവിടെ ആണെങ്കിൽ ഫ്രോഗ് റെപ്റ്റൈൽ എക്സെപ്റ്റ് എക്സെപ്റ്റ് ക്രോക്കഡൈൽ ഇത്രയും വരും ഇത്രയാണ് നമ്മുടെ ടൈസ് ഓഫ് സർക്കുലേഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇനി പിന്നെ വരുന്നത് നമ്മുടെ ചേമ്പർ ടു ചേമ്പേഡ് ഹാർട്ട് ത്രീ ചേമ്പേഡ് ഹാർട്ട് ഫോർ ചേമ്പേഡ് ഹാർട്ട് ടു ചേമ്പേഡ് ഹാർട്ടിന് രണ്ട് ചേമ്പർ ഉള്ളതിന് ഫിഷ് ആണ് എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഒരു ആരക്കളും ഒരു വെൻട്രിക്കും ത്രീ ചേമ്പറിന് എക്സാമ്പിൾ രണ്ട് പേര് നമുക്ക് കൊടുക്കാം ഫ്രോഗും റെപ്റ്റൈലും എക്സെപ്റ്റ് ക്രോക്കഡായി പിന്നെ മൂന്നാമത്തേത് ഫോർ ചേമ്പേഡിൽ രണ്ട് ഗ്രൂപ്പുകളാണ് പ്രധാനം ഇവിടെ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ബേർഡ്സും മാമൽസും ക്രോക്കഡൈൽസ് അതായത് വിധത്തിലുള്ള നമ്മുടെ റെപ്റ്റൈൽസിന് ക്രോക്കഡൈൽസും കൂടി ചേരുമ്പോൾ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് സർക്കുലേഷൻ ഐ മീൻ ഫോർ ചേമ്പേഡാണ് അപ്പോൾ നമുക്കൊരു കാര്യം മനസ്സിലായി കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഡബിൾ ആണ് നാല് ചേമ്പർ ഉള്ളത് ഹ്യൂമൻസ് ആർ എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് നമുക്ക് ഹ്യൂമൻ ഹാർട്ടും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ അതിൻ്റെ സർക്കുലേഷനും അതിൻ്റെ ഭാഗങ്ങളും ഒക്കെയാണ് നമുക്ക് ദിസ് യൂണിറ്റ് വി ഹാവ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് അതിലേക്ക് വേണ്ടി അപ്പോൾ നമ്മുടെ ഹ്യൂമൻ ഹാർട്ടിലോട്ട് തിരിച്ചു വരാം ഹ്യൂമൻ ഹാർട്ടിൻ്റെ ലൊക്കേഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നീലോ ഹ്യൂമൻ ഹാർട്ട് ഈസ് ഫോർ ചാമ്പേർഡ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് സർക്കുലേഷൻ ഡബിൾ സർക്കുലേഷൻ ഈ ത്രീ മറക്കരുത് ഹ്യൂമൻ ഹാർട്ട് ഈസ് ഫോർ ചേമ്പേർഡ് ഡബിൾ സർക്കുലേഷൻ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് സർക്കുലേഷൻ ലൊക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി ഹാർട്ട് ഈസ് വിത്ത് ഇൻ ദി തൊറാസിക് കാലിറ്റി യുനോ വിത്ത് ഇൻ ദി തൊറാസിക് കാലിറ്റി എക്സാക്ട് ഇൻ ദി മിഡിൽ എ ലിറ്റിൽ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ്സ് വൈ മാർമറിങ് ഓഫ് ദി ഹാർട്ട് ഈസ് വെരി ക്ലിയർലി ഹേർഡ് ഓഫ് ദി ലെഫ്റ്റ് സൈഡ് ദാൻ ദി റൈറ്റ് സൈഡ് മറക്കാതിരിക്കട്ടെ ഹ്യൂമൻ ഹാർട്ട് ഹാസ് ഫോർ ചാമ്പേഴ്സ് ടു ആർക്കിഡ്സ് and uh, two ventricles present in the thoracic cavity and it is covered by means of a pericardium double membrane called pericardium pericardium and uh, and it's also divided into epicardium myocardium endocardium etc third that's an important device നമുക്ക് ഈ പെരിക്കാർഡിയം അഭിനയിക്കുക ടു ലെയർഡ് സ്ട്രക്ചറാണ് പെരിക്കാർഡിയം ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് പ്രൊട്ടക്റ
from Western and Sox exercise, so you know. Uh, after the thoracic cavity gata, it is well protected by body cavity, you know, which are the bones, front is sternum, back liver, upper column, side liver, ribs, okay, and your rib cage then you are in the, the heart is very protected. In addition to I third, it has a double membrane called pericardium. It is giving excellent, excellent protection to heart from shocks, injuries, etc. In the other way, the heart is too arithmetic. It is a structure in the right and left. And a brief right to left area. This is the side of the disease This is auricles, this is auricles and ventricles. You know. This is the left side, this is the right side. A right auricle, left auricle, left ventricle, right ventricle. From here, Blood is coming to the right auricle. Auricle is only receiving blood. Remember, auricle is receiving blood. Now, here we go. 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 Here in superior vena cava, superior, either inferior, inferior vena cava, vena cava. So these are the regions collecting blood towards the heart. In the ventricles and normal flow towards the ventricles from arteries to ventricles only. And the two blood vessels are starting from uh, blood uh, the ventricles, one from the left ventricle, one from the right ventricle. But you will begin the anatom while the either the anatom or the tegra or the ponda, either in the ponda, that is what is called the aorta, largest blood vessel in our heart. If they were an elation with each other, the anatomy ponda, a father, if they want the tegra, then die the tegra, in a very number. In a one hundred pulmonary artery. There are visa pulmonary veins, either pulmonary artery, either superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, pulmonary veins. Right. You put a valve ponder, you put a valve ponder, Mitral, mitral valve is it. Either on the tricuspid, then we are tricuspid. That is either, either the moon or the little or now, that is tricuspid. If it is on a randitral, either the little matra, and the little matra, that's why we call the bicuspid. Pin opening of the semi lunar, I mean opening of the aorta and pulmonary artery are guarded by. Uh, semi lunar rats with the four nails there. This is semi lunar. Once again, valves very important. Remember, bicuspid or mitral valves on the left side of the heart protecting or between left auricle and left ventricle. Right side is the tricuspid valve protecting from RA to RV. In the aorta, the aorta and the pulmonary artery are guarded by semi lunar. Valves, correct. Then we have to consider this is the structure of the heart. Totally the left side, the left ventricle is more rough and it is higher in the left ventricle. That means uh, more or less in the right, left uh, auricle, uh, more or less in the uh, right ventricle, then the uh, near narrowest in the right auricle, with the right auricle. And here the valves are connected with the, the valves or the walls of the, that means on the ventricle there is, there is a muscle called the papillary muscles, papillary, papillary muscles. Here the valve there, it is connected with the papillary muscles by means of the cords called the corde tendine, tendine. Remember, both ones, papillary muscles, papillary muscles means muscles, foldings found on the inner wall of the ventricles. These muscles are connected with the valves by fine 
fine prints. This is called code antennae. Code antennae by working on the code antennae, the tricuspid and bicuspid they decide to open or not. That's it. This is the entire structure. Some the structure may be asked for the examination. Asking A, B, C, D given there and find out to find the correct order of names. Then next coming is the and uh, nodal tissue is there. Working model of the heart, it gives a nodal tissue. Then also we have to draw the figure. That is, this is one. Here one is there, this is called, uh, this is nodal tissue I am explaining. Nodal tissue of the heart. Functions of the heart is determined by nodal tissue. I saw nodal, nodal tissue. And then the the contraction center on the SA nodum, AB node 1. S A node and A B node. Sino auricular node, that's here. This is S A node. And here it is the A B node. Okay. From this starts the perking a fiber is then to bundle of this. So once again, S A node to perking a fiber is to uh, bundle of this to A B node to the perking a fiber. So to the then it is once again right here. S A node 2 uh, bundle of S2 A B node 2 five, I mean Perkin J fibrates that the correct sequence of the roots actually repeating S A node 2 bundle of S here it is a connection that is bundle of S and this is A B node from there so many fibers are there and they are the Perkin J fibrates Perkin J fibers. Actually stimulus, heartbeat is started from SL. I think you remember two types of heart among animals based on their work. One automatically moving based on muscle stimulus and controlled by nerve system. The two you know neurogenic and myogenic. I said the neuro. Neurogenic and myo. Neurogenic means heart uh, beats are controlled by the nerve system. Example, all invertebrates except mollusca. Once I again remind you, I mean neurogenic heart include animals with the all invertebrates except mollusca. Myogenic means heart beats are controlled by muscle stimulus include mollusca and all vertebrates. Humans are vertebrates, you know. And in human, the myogenic part is the SA node. From there, heart beats are originated. So it is also called pacemaker. SA node also called, SA node also called pacemaker or heart of heart. So it is also called uh, heart of heart. That means heart beats are originated from SA node. Migrate to bundle of his. This is what I said bundle of his. His name signs. From there to AV node, then to perfect five This is the conducting system of the heart. This is the structural form of the heart. Clear. Then the circulation is related with this one. You know, the two blood vessels bringing blood towards the arteries are left side the pulmonary veins, two pairs, one pair from each lungs. And the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava are bringing, bringing impure blood from various parts of the body towards the right artery. So artery, uh, we are extracting blood from my blood uh, that is impure. The left to artery we are receiving is uh, pure blood because coming from lungs purified by oxygen. Left side is fully filled with the uh, pure blood, right side is fully with the impure blood. That's why it is surrender. The circulation is complete. Right. Let's tell about the structure then coming to the circulations of the heart.
This include one pulmonary circulation. So pulmonary circulation. Two systemic systemic circulation. Three coronary coronary circulation. These are the three systems there. And one more there, there is a portal system, this we are avoiding here. We need a pulmonary circulation, systemic circulation and a coronary circulation. Correct? First come into pulmonary. Starting from uh, right arc to lungs by pulmonary artery. The lungs of blood is purified, that means the oxygenated is oxygenated. The purified blood is bring back to lungs, sorry, the left arc of the heart, left arc of the heart, right, sir, left arc of the heart through pulmonary veins. This is the pulmonary circulation, short one, right arc is starting, left arc is ending. When they carry it to lungs through pulmonary artery, bring back from the lungs by pulmonary veins. Okay. This is the system. This is the shortest time. This is the lesser time. It's only a short time to complete all rotation. You know. Because it's something. But it's not going to go. So it needs only a limited time. So it is called a lesser circulation. Pulmonary also called a lesser. Lesser circulation. Systemic means. It's starting from left ventricle, okay? Left ventricle in the air, blood bone of the body, right? Cold bone of the aorta, right? Out of the impure eye of blood, the air, heart in the right arcle, and you throw two veins, you know, superior vena cava and inferior vena cava, superior vena cava, Vena cava and inferior vena cava. And the way it will be done. It's a long time, you know. Doctor is a man, you know. But in the blood, you know, 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 you know. And it gives more time. You know, the first thing is, if your blood is, sorry, left to end up in a start, you know, there is pure blood. Pure blood is, you know, 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 you know. Ibu dah nanggil aku ni ni ala. Right arah kiri tu mana? Ah, impure blood ni langsung boleh tu impure blood ni tu kiri coto. Ibu dah nanggil opos ni jangan. Ibu dah greater circulation. Ibu dah nanggil greater because you need more time to complete one rotation. That's it. Okay. Apa tu orang dah nanggil greater circulation? Ibu tu. Ini yang mana? Betul betul orang tu mudah orang kan? Left ventricle ni mana? Ayo orang tu bagi body ni tu kuno. Orang tu bagi impure awal mana? Blood ni ni. Supaya bina kawa, inferior bina kawa dah nanggil right arah kiri. Edi kuno. So the circulation is starting from this ventricle and ending in right or it means systemic circulation, right? Next coronary circulation, here it is through coronary arteries and veins, heart is an organ we know, it also need blood, it also need oxygen, also need nourishment, separate by blood by a pair of coronary arteries from the base of aorta. A pair of coronary arteries start from the base of aorta, supplying blood to heart wall. Then the blood becomes impure, impure and that is bring back to the right organ by pulmonary, sorry, coronary veins. A pair of coronary arteries supplying blood to heart. A pair of coronary veins carrying blood back to the right organ. That is coronary circulation, that is the circulation, uh, nourishing, giving oxygen. And also protecting heart by something, everything through blood. That's all about the coronary circulation. What more is there? We can say an exception. Also, we have to remember in the digestive system. That's called the portal circulation. Portal circulation means normally you know uh, veins starts from uh, um, veins starts from um, uh, arteries. I mean uh, that one in here we know from the heart starts. Arteries and uh, ending in heart by veins. So starting with arteries and ending in veins. Or will there be phenomenon? Okay. So artery and vein means artery carrying blood towards the body. 
of away from heart away from heart remember artery carries blood from towards the body or away from heart away from heart that is artery but veins means veins means um uh, carrying blood towards the heart towards the heart that is the vein explanation and both are different there in structure in function and uh, all of these two have three layers of to the wall that means uh, external media and internal two three layers are there and the in a in middle layer external media and internal media layer is more thick in artery than vein to compress to prevent the pressure from there that's all sorry about that so artery walls are more thick than veins and also we found that so usually blood starts from capillaries <coughs> starts from capillaries and also ends in veins once again repeating that one that the new sudden uh, i'm talking the point is there blood that means artery ends in uh, capillaries then to veins this is the normal way artery branches branches and become capillarized from the start stage this is a normal way but i said that sometimes here i said the vein starts from capillaries okay but some veins start from capillary and the ends also ends in capillary understand so we is the normally a vein start from capillary the artery ends in capillary from the start vein vein starts from capillaries and ends in large veins but some veins starts from capillaries also ends in capillaries capillary veins are capillary this is called a portal vein okay portal vein. in our body two portal veins are there two portal circulations are there one is called hepatic portal portal circulation second the hypophysial hypo physial portal circulation portal circulation is the second the hepatic portal circulation carries products from intestine to liver intestine to liver there is hepatic portal circulation hypophysial carry hormones from hypothalamus to pituitary gland these are the two portal circulations in humans exception renal portal circulation absent in human i am repeating absent in humans present in frog there is a renal portal circulation that is only in only in frog remember that here i said the hypophysial portal circulation and the cap hepatic portal circulation only are present in humans correct next one now coming to the working of the heart again during each heart beat you know extra quantity of blood is pumped into the aorta and the heart the sounds we have to come down in the heart we draw the figure you should know but that one yeah here is the valve here is the valve during heart beat heart beat extra quantity of blood is pumped into the aorta that's why we been starting from here from here going up and from here in the pulmonary artery all right extra quantity of blood is pumped into the aorta and pulmonary artery and related that when this stops or what i said that i said during heart beat extra quantity of blood is pumped 
bound into the aorta and the pulmonary artery. Okay. It is followed by and uh, it is followed by the expansion of that means I said the expansion of the valves, which valves, valves present in aorta and pulmonary artery are semi lunar valves. And during contraction, what happens? Blood rush into the semi lunar valves, into the aorta and pulmonary artery. From the left side towards the aorta, from the right side towards the pulmonary artery. Clear? Once again, during each heart beat, extra quantity blood is pumped into the aorta and extra quantity blood is pumped into the auricles. When they contract, they return to the ventricles. When the ventricles contract, blood tries to enter into auricles. This is prevented by the closing of bicuspid and tricuspid valves. During this time, a short, a sudden sound is heard. I mean, that's called a nub, a vibratory sound. Nub. Okay? Repeating. Nub sound is heard. First of all, heart sound heard by the closing of the tricuspid and bicuspid valves. Clear? Finally, repeating. When the ventricles are contract, blood try to return back to arteries. This is prevented by the closing of tricuspid and bicuspid valves. During this time, a sound is heard that is now. As a their closes, only way is to enter into the aorta and the pulmonary artery. Though they are very forced to enter into the pulmonary artery and aorta, at the time, this has been relapses. During this time, blood entered into the aorta and pulmonary artery tries to return back. This is prevented by the closing of semi lunar valves. During this time, a sound dub is heard. Okay? Nub, dub. Here, closing of, closing of semi lunar valves. Here, closing of bicuspid and tricuspid valves. Yeah, don't confuse. Okay, so two heart sounds are there. And actually, I said the left is heard during the contraction of the ventricles. The phase of contraction also called the systole. Phase of contraction. So, we also we can say systolic sound is the Phase of relaxation is called a diastole. So we can say that diastolic sound is the dub. One systole and followed a diastole, or one lub followed a dub forms a heartbeat. I said that heartbeat. Clear? Okay. Once again. The phase of PHCS, the phase of contraction of heart wall, heart system. Phase of contraction of the um, heart wall, diastole. One systole followed the diastole forms a heartbeat. A repetition of heartbeats is called cardiac rhythm. Cardiac rhythm. Normally, Normally, in an adult, heart beats 72 times per minute. In a healthy adult, don't forget that. Normally, a heart beat rate in a healthy adult male is 72 per minute. And in females, it is for more than 72, maybe. Don't forget that. And in newly born child, that may be 140 times per minute newly born newly born remember newly born very fast heart is small so rotation and the rotating is very also faster no problem 140 we need 72 in healthy adult male 
females more something in there and in newly born it is 140 times per minute okay heart beat cardiac rhythm then heart beat cardiac rhythm then also we have to come to pulse the repetition of the heart beats that's why it's the cardiac rhythm that's why another name called the pulse the pulse rate is always equal to that of the heart beat rate 72 per minute in a healthy adult male, females there more sometimes and in every born newborn child it is 140 times per minute. That's all about the heart beat. Clear. And circulation also over there. And then now we have to come to any heart failure there. And how the defect is measured. The heart is measured by the defects of the heart is measured by using an instrument, you know. That is EZD. What I said is ECG, electrocardiogram. It is like this one. Okay. Heart is correct. That one is the rise of the, the rising of the um, high impulse there. Then it's normally starting and this ending. That is the normal AC. Alright. And uh, this is electrocardiogram shows the contraction of the ventricles, a relaxation of the ventricles, and also contraction, relaxation of the both ventricles and arteries. That we can conclude then into a polarization. Repolarization and depolarization. Alright, depolarization of the left ventricle one, uh, repolarization, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, depolarization of the left ventricle, right ventricle, repolarization of both ventricles. This is a normal ECG shows. Once again, uh, ECG shows a wavy structure, repeat the structure is there. And uh, it shows that uh, depolarization and the repolarization of the arteries and ventricles. First, uh, depolar depolarization of the artery, depolarization of the ventricle, and uh, repolarization of the ventricle. Second, this is what we call as the ECG. I think you understand me about ECG. And the uh, defect in the heart that is measured by using the easy this is a regular flow regular flow or don't forget that and uh, a defect in the normal flow even the repetition this is a normal one it is normal but if not irregularly exposed we can say there is some defect that shows in the ECG and that will be defected remember that uh, the normal is Then some uh, defects of the heart. Uh, defect include, you know, normal right, is uh, causing in the arteriosclerosis or atherosclerosis. Arteriosclerosis and atherosclerosis. This is deposition of fat in blood vessels. Deposition of fat in blood. Both are due to the excessive storage of fat and they may cause uh, decreasing of the heartbeat and may cause stop to be concerned with person. And the next is causing leading to cardiac infarction. That's also totally causing the disease. I remember that. So keeping the normal ECG is to be maintained and uh, that is to be mentioned. Otherwise, the heart diseases will occur, arteriosclerosis or atherosclerosis. Totally leading to cardiac infarction, stopping of the heart, or cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest. That's it. I think 
मोस्टली अपॉन द क्रैश आई कंप्लीटेड द डिस्कशन